Another language for my language compilation. This is the language of the scientist. Well, this is actually the language of the bards, but this is the language of the scientist, which I imagine is a direct translation. Seeking you are, found we have. What's interesting is that the middle word of both phrases are the same. Seeking versus found, you versus we, are versus have. What do we think is most likely to be the same in the language? I don't know. But already I could translate from bard into this language. And what's interesting is that one of the words means plural. Oh, maybe in this language are is just implied. There is no word for to be. So maybe one of the phrases is seeking you plural, and the other is found you plural, which would make the similar words be plural. That would go here. And then one of these two words is you, one of these two words is seeking. If I had to guess, these two words are you and I, because they're very similar, probably just two ways to refer to people. So to seek and want would be this symbol then, and then seeking you are, so the last symbol in that phrase would be you. And the second one, to find, be here. And then I found. Really? My only thought is that seeking and finding are birds of a feather, and those would have the similarities. Is that the case? That is the case. Interesting. Okay, so me and you, I mean, they have a circle at the very top, and I can see the similarities, right? Circle, straight line going down, and then the difference is the rest. Seeking and finding being very similar. So it's a very scientific language, very curious language. Now what? Uh, I could probably learn more of it here. Well, see more words at least. A lot of different letter settings. Hmm. Okay, turn this dial, it blinks and then doesn't work. Turning this dial also blinks and doesn't work. What about this button? Okay, it's lights up one. This makes it go bad. What if I press the right button first? That's just bad. Don't press the right button. This is the only thing that does anything. This lever is next. Oh, is this counting? This is probably one. This is probably two. I would guess the triangle is third. Mm, four and five. The triangle is three sides, so I can't even quite do that for circles. I got a half circle and a full circle, so four, five. Oh, counting. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm like, this is one tally. This is two tallies. At least if you see this whole thing as a key, you know, the teeth of the key kind of counts. Half circle, full circle, very cool. Well, in that case, take me up to what I assume is the fourth level. Oh, cool. The workshop, a very fitting location. And okay, more stuff. So two and one. Yeah, actually a lot of text. This must be a map, right? One is like first floor. That is so many new words. There's a lot of triangles. Maybe triangles are rooms? Yeah, you are here on the first floor. Elevator down was blocked off. There's something down here. And then this. Why do I feel like this means danger? Because it's added on. And it's more related to seek or find. Well, maybe that's just verbs. Yeah, it could mean like don't or not. It really could mean a lot of things. I'm not ready for it. Oh, there's people here. Oh, and there's the aforementioned elevator. Hey. What's going on? Me, a scientist? Me, something you. Help you? Yeah, why do I feel like this is help? This is a verb. It just seems like help could make sense. And, I mean, this has the verb terminology, right? With the circle and then the uh, clockwise movement. But it also kind of has personhood, where, like, there's a shape on top with the vertical line going straight down. Now, that is different... But the lines on the inside also match the lines for me. I don't know why. It feels like a descriptor that also implies doing. So I'm going to say scientist for now. We'll see if it's right. And I guess I'll go this way. It'd be nice if I could actually write down the map itself in my journal. I think that'd be really helpful. Okay. Microscope. Something plural. Does it just mean microscopes? Microscope, maybe equipment as a backup. Okay. And there's directions, right? So this would take me up. Wait, there's two of them. Equipment one, equipment two. And then a third sign disappeared. I don't know what that means yet. Let's check out equipment one. Maybe laboratory? Lab? 
Because now I'm noticing a pattern where you got the upper left circle and then a straight line horizontally and then a curved line going down also horizontally. There are quite a few of these actually. I count four. Seems like locations to me. And this is... Is that the sun maybe? Wait, where was that symbol? Here. Okay, but this is a sun, right? Or maybe a reaction? Explosion? Combine maybe? Yeah, combine or react okay welcome back to another reaction today i'm watching some absolute idiot play a language decoding puzzle game <laughs> look at him walk around cluelessly not knowing what's going on so yeah he's calling himself a buffoon <laughs> i couldn't be me and it seems like they're unlocking a door like maybe the gate to the top of the tower to meet god i don't know if you do enough science maybe one day god will be impressed and he'll want to meet you we want something. We want to create a reaction. And I don't know what the hell we, what that is. How about you? Oh God, I'm not even close. I feel so out of my depth here. Is there anything back here? I mean, this is, oh my God, it keeps going. I need, I need to turn back. I'll, I'll be back here. This is too much right now. Back here, I almost want to go left. Why? Because it's like close to the map. So maybe it's easier here. Huh. These symbols. Seen them before. Is that where we're in right now? Or is that what's through the door? Okay, I need some sort of lever in order to open it. There's a lever down here. Skull with an X. Seems like a great lever to pull. Oh. Oh? Should I have done that? It's closed up. It goes in. Something happens. And I need to find out what happens on the other side. For now, something down. This must have also been on the map. Maybe there's something good down here. More of this. Anything good? Also missing a lever. I'm going to keep it honest. I have no idea what I'm looking at. So what's interesting about those two rooms, the first word is the same. The second word, they both got the triangle with the circle in the middle. But then the differences arise. This basement also starts with the same word. Yeah, too bad I don't really know what I'm looking at. I was hoping I could find salvation here in the lab. How about this? Oh, they're measuring stick. So you get to see a number's past five. Six is really simple. Seven is just a bit more curvy. Okay, but if you were to denote something above ten, you would have the tens digit be on the left of the line. And I imagine the same would be with twenty. So this system can work really well up to 99. I wonder what they do for their third digit. Oh? What is this? Huh. <laughs> Vertical line. Yeah, what does that mean? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of different stuff. Oh, it probably means zero. Yeah, empty line definitely means zero. And the rest of the numbers are here. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. I need a code. So I guess I'm not going to go until I find the code. What's this? Something plural. Tests? Experiments? I might try experiment or test. Test. And they're like, they tried a bunch of combinations and then crossed them out as not working. And you can also see numbers for all these. So right, the top left number, that would be 19. Although some of them have three different things coming out of them. So we can see big numbers. This one might be 557. And then, oh, the fourth position. This could be 3,801. And they're working with a bunch of triangle stuff. So a triangle is like elements, I guess. Yeah, I could see it. Elements are different things. How about I go down? Oh, it just came from lab two. Okay, so lab one and lab two is just different entrances. Oh, what is this? A drawing of the monster in flame. Three words I don't recognize. Two are new. One of them definitely means monster. The other means fire. The monster's running away from the fire. Or it's just telling us that the monster doesn't like light, which I guess we found in the previous. Um, oh, so there's a word for life, elements or chemicals, monster and either person or fear. So the drawing could mean the monster fears light. I'm going to say this one means monster though, because it's again got that similarity with me and you. I actually don't know their sentence structure, though. I guess early on we saw it was you, plural, seek. 
me plural find. It could be a subject verb, but we don't know where object comes into it. We don't know if it's subject object verb or subject verb object. Interesting. Well, that takes me here. Okay, it's connected on the outside. How's it going, scientist? This is blocked off. Whatever this is, they don't want to be going in there. Well, I am. Oh, I don't know what to do. Probably need fire. Well, here, okay. Lantern, but I need the power source for it. And only then can I explore. Back to the lab. Still a hole upstairs, or is this gonna take me to the next level it is? Maybe I should try to figure this out. If I think this is monster, I would have one of two words being fear. I could try to get the left two. So this is where I saw the symbols for this. Do I think it's referring to the potion? The combination? Or maybe the element itself? Wait a second, this is the same word that was appearing next to the monster. So maybe this is heat or fire. It would be this one, right? This would be fire. So then the monster fears fire. This would be fear. I'll put fear here. Now, the reason why I think this matters is because it looks like you would take three elements, combine them with fire, and then you get something. And that is what they were researching in this room over here. The blackboards that's combining three elements. Now, what is it they're trying to make? I should probably jot these down as different elements. Element, element, element. And weirdly, the other element here isn't in my book. Well, at least I know what they are. Let me go back to that uh, quarry then. Because here, they're doing something about elements. Transporting, mining. Like, if I had to guess, I would say this is like some sort of mining or some sort of gaining of the resources. And yeah, these are like three dig sites or something. But can't go down because of this. This is a verb. I mean, it could be blocked. Blocked can be a verb. All right, well, now seems the time to actually go up. And hope that the second story somehow makes things more manageable. Well, it's a library. I could pick that out on the map after looking at some guy's notes. Oh, three elements. Hmm. So these are instructions, right? Step one, you put in, you do this. Step two, the element goes in here. Step three, you get the temperature to the right spot. And then step four, you pull the lever. Step four, you push the button. Step three is pulling the lever. And that's what gets the dial to the good zone. Oh, more notes. Something fire. Okay, fire's coming out of this. Like, this is obviously some sort of lighter. I don't know if it's supposed to be making fire, because it's a verb. Igniting fire? I'm gonna go with ig... Igniting, but that's such a specific word. I doubt it's that. Be igniting could be making. Let's talk loudly to this guy. Maybe he can help. You want something. Maybe a book. If I'm in a library, he's asked, suggesting I want a book. Seems pretty logical. What's this? Oh, one ring. Okay, finally, a simple note. One of element. Two of other element, third of element. Oh, okay. This is like the directory to where to find out about each of the elements. Oh, I finally got this. This is also an element. Okay, so which is which? Well, this is a one. So this is probably gold. Yeah, this first symbol would be possibly gold. Number two, a okay, coin. So maybe silver. They look silver. Silver. Where are the others? I don't know, but this place is huge. Oh, look, books plural. They don't even call it a library. They just call it books. Which I respect, but I don't want to leave the library yet. I haven't even gone up. Oh God, yeah, whole nother floor up here. Okay, but I'll probably find the other two elements and maybe more notes. Oh, this is a hierarchy of the societies, right? There's the scientists and the bards. Was there like a schism? Like one time the scientists and bards lived together, then they split and now they're separate. This seems like bards. So this is like them together. I mean, this could be just generic people or like person, I guess, since there's plural that comes after it. 
But it feels like there's also some sort of connection that person is just too cold to describe. Like love or friendship sort of thing. Hey, maybe you can tell me more. We find the book on the bards. Also, I should get rid of the S. Singular. What's this? The big door. What they were experimenting with below. Something plural is making something else. Is that like the angels making the door? Door. And then these are like weird mythical flying people. <laughs> that's, that's what I got out of it. Flying people are making the door. Oh. All right, time to confirm it, huh? The flying people making a door. This is a book. Got a bard. Got a scientist. And then, was this both? Nailed it. Fairy people. Books. Bards. Alchemists, specifically. And they are brothers. Oh. The bards and alchemists were brothers, and there was a great schism. Oh, my. Good, I found element three. Well, either copper or bronze. It's a cheaper element. So you would be bronze. So then the last one, hopefully it's around. They actually don't seem to have it laying around. Maybe it's rare? Maybe it's trash? Oh, never mind. It's rock? I mean, okay. Or like coal, maybe? Rock, coal, some sort of weird reacting thing. Yep, definitely nailed these. Gold, silver, bronze, rock. Oh, it was copper. And carbon. Oh, that makes sense. Coal, carbon. Almost said copper. Oh, it's a hat. Hey, someone left that here. With a note on the inside. Something about the lab, and then 5,038 for something at the lab. Now, I guess the thing where I input eight different numbers at, it was kind of groups grouped into two groups of four, so maybe that's part of it. Oh, I am not even going to try to understand this. Though it is interesting, there are some things I recognize. It's not complete gibberish. Depends on how you look at it. It might be worthless trash, but maybe he's onto something. Oh, nice. Another one of these. Another fast travel. How about this? Oh, a conversation between the warriors and the bards. Warriors love music. The bards have a weird sentence structure. They start with the object. It's Yoda speak, so it's like, music warriors love. Music, warrior, plural, love. Chosen one, come to the fortress. Ah, so it's one of those you up kind of messages. Fortress, you, go? Unless it'd be like fortress, bard, goes. Okay. Instruments bards possess. So plural, chosen ones, possess, plural, instruments. Bards love to play music, plural, chosen, love, creating music? Probably. Yes. And the bards will come to the fortress. Plural, chosen, will go to the fortress. Yeah! Another connection. A nice little love triangle. Well, there's still two tribes we haven't connected with, and these scientists, and I guess the last one would be the fairies. We've not really made a real connection with either. Oh, what's down here? Oh, I need a thing to open this door. No, I can't do anything here. Okay, I was here earlier at least. At least I can figure out what this other building is now. Oh, another map that's helpful. The fairy gate. That where I just came from? And then this. Well... I feel like that's got to be a library. Yeah, this, this feels like a library. And I see there's a map here because here's the elevator. This is the hub area for the second floor. Oh, with a person. Hello. Me find seven. Me want nine. Of what? Okay, seven barrels. He wants two more barrels. So I find barrels. I bring them to him. So up here, is this the fairy gate? The scandal about fairies? No, it might be something on the right side of floor two. Oh, the reaction center. This is where it's done. Oh, we might have learned how the machines worked, huh? So there's enough copper and carbon, but not enough silver and gold. Of which I have neither, but could add some. What about this? Oh, these are weights. 
Hmm. Pressing the button doesn't do anything right now. Silver is pressed. But I can have one of the elements pressed. So let's see. This weight is 1, 5, 10, 100, 200, 500. So it's some sort of scale. I guess the different elements have different weights. Okay, that'll be helpful later. How about this thing, huh? Okay, so I can combine things here. And this is like a cancel button. Oh, boy. All right, science will be done eventually. Oh, yeah, this is the fairy gate. I doubt they'll let me in. Oh. Oh, so it needs, like, a very specific input. And these are all the failed inputs they've tried. So to get out of here and to ascend further, I've got to find the reaction, the combination that gets this all going. I'm drawn back to this page on the book because I feel like I should be pretty close to it. This science here, it probably could be like experiment or test. It also could be combine and react. This my issue is what would be the thing for life? I don't know where I would have figured out the word for life. Well, oh, huh, the mess hall, food. Wait, yeah, picture of food. This is location, so it must be like cafeteria. Oh, yeah, they got the timetables. And eating is at three different times a day. Honestly, three meals is pretty excessive. One or two meals all the way. What do you have to say about your three meal a day schedule? Cafeteria blocked. Oh, that's a good word. Cafeteria opens at four? Oh, cafeteria closed. Cafeteria opens at four. Progress. So open. And then I guess I'll say closed. Is the top left maybe supposed to display like a life cycle? Like transform? Transforming. Okay, reaction means transforming. Formula, experiment, test, that's about the same. And then I did get monster and fear. Okay, it's good to tie that together. Oh, and the clock is actually moving. So at some point, the cafeteria will be open. Well, I could wait or I could explore in the meantime. I got an hour to go. Oh, and that's just down the steps. Wait, so do I have most of the map done then? So this is kind of where they mine stuff. Have some labs. Got a library, the fairy gates. That's guaranteed. Well, maybe now that I'm here, I could do the 5038. Yeah, like I'm combining two different four digit world numbers. Oh, is this just for adding? Oh yeah, it might just be for adding. Well, at least here I can confirm the numbers I already knew. Yeah, it's easy enough. Yeah, the point of this is to add numbers together. For fun, I guess. Oh, the bell. It's time for food. Gotta eat. Yes, let me in. I've been starving for hamburgers. Oh? Oh, locations. Yeah, so you got the library. Got the cafeteria. Got the lab. And then, yeah, this is the mines. Okay, the four. Oh, the re refectory. Wow. Mine and laboratory. And I actually have all the rest of the words, so I just need to find more. At least I'm pretty sure I have the rest of the words. Refectory open. Uh, they're too busy stalling the line. So nobody's ever going to get food. I guess I'll look around. What did I just grab? A fork and knife. Made out of silver. Which I'm sure I can use for the experiment. Okay, I can't grab the bronze cups, unfortunately. Or the copper cups. Oh, I'm here. Well, funny that. How do I put the silver in? Silver? How do I do it? Oh, well, maybe I have to melt the silver down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I gone up? Yeah, I have. This is really weird. This is the first time I'm actually held back, not by language, but just not knowing what the hell to do. I have some goals, but I don't have a good next step. It feels like there's something else I'm supposed to pick up, but I can't find it. Damn it, I searched so long and it was one of the very first things I could have come across. So this is me size. I can get in the damn cart and then go on. Okay, that's what was holding me back. It'd be nice if like, you know, when I middle clicked on it, it would actually have the dot showing up, showing I could interact with it. Cause that's how I kind of figure out everything. Damn, cool mines though. Oh man, lots of rocks. All right, new symbol, danger of what? Danger of, well, maybe it just says danger. Skull danger. 
Okay, so I, I gotta make my way past these rocks. Don't die. Easy enough. These are incredible safety precautions they've taken. OSHA would be so pissed. Oh, is this the machine that we saw in the guy's book? It is. Okay, so step one, turn it from closed to open. Step two, put in the thing. So like the silverware, it's in, I guess. Then step three, maybe push this lot until it's in the right range. And then step four, press the button. Now I've made the thing. I got a silver bar, which I can probably do science with. Oh, yay, stuff here. So I got closed for sure, and I've got open for sure. Could be dead, danger, let's try danger. Dead slash death, okay. Oh, and a whole new area here. Maybe I can find those barrels for that guy. Gold bars. Oh, nice. How cool of them to just have a ton of these lying around. A wealth of riches, if only I wasn't preoccupied. Lockers. Interesting. What about this? What is this? Oh, these look like things I could input into the mines. Yeah, they look, like, they look like punch cards, I guess, kind of. Love just rummaging through people's stuff. Smart people locking their lockers. What about this here? Oh, well, this is where I could put in a punch card. unlocks the door well what's here oh oh nice okay that unlocks the gold mine so I can go in the silver mine if I want that's cool how they have you exit exactly where you want to be it's like sure this game has walking but they've kind of planned it out so you happen to just end up exactly where you need to anyways anything in the silver mine oh oh he's stuck I got you buddy I'll help you out Hey, man. Don't ha let that happen again. Okay, bye. Oh, what's this? Oh, a lighter. Okay, so I can explore the area with the monster. <laughs> it's all coming together. Okay, I think I have what it takes. Let's light this sucker up. I'm not afraid of a monster. Okay, I got help. And then... Fire itself, and then the igniting and making. And I have every word that I've found, but there's still three more. Maybe the monster will tell me. Oh, Laboratory 3. What's this? 5038. 5038. What? 5039. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> Classic off by one error. Happens to the best of us. Oh, abandoned experiments. Or not. I found the formula, I found the transformation. Then why is this burned? So it takes gold, silver, and carbon. And I'm just gonna assume the game automatically writes it down for me. Okay, well, hell yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> oh man, it went through work to get these experiments done. That's a giant handprint. Wait, what? Okay, that's terrifying. Don't go there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try an experiment then. Okay, I got my funny bars. Slurp. Glorp. Okay, everything's powered up. But I need 1,405 of gold. Gold. 1,405. Ah, and there it goes. I need 812 silver. There we are. And I need 46 carbon. Not much. But that's everything. And let's make the key. Oh. How did the guy know that that's the formula? Did he test it or something? Also, I still have some questions. There is a full-on door unlock somewhere on this floor. And not this one I'm about to unlock. I will try it. Maybe there's stuff I could discover up above with the fairies. Ooh, cool video game door happening. It's pretty cool. But hold on! I'm still missing three words! And I know there's a door I haven't uh, unlocked. I have to go back. 
Oh, in the silver mine, there's a uh, staircase hidden carefully under my face cam, which takes me deeper. Deep. Oh, another one of these. Good, I was actually looking for that too. Oh, more translation of warrior text? No, of the abbey text? Three words left, meaning not, warrior, and plant. Well, whatever this one is, plant. And the, this one must be warrior, so this one's not. Well, that's the full language. Feel the power. And how convenient that I'm right next to one of these, because the next thing I wanted to do was have more conversations. Facilitate and translate the languages. Interesting. Well, conversation between the scientist and their brothers, the bards. Brothers I'm seeking. So I think this uh, has a pretty normal sentence syntax. So we'll go subject and then verb and then plural brothers. No? Maybe I do have the sentence syntax wrong? I didn't think so. Oh, uh, the plural should be after the word. I'm seeking pl brother plural. <laughs> That's why I messed up. The warriors are not brothers. Warrior plural, not brother plural. I found a book. A book I found should be the order. Book I found. Brothers we are. Brother plural. Oh, do they do you, me, or is it me plural? It might be me plural. Wait, but there is no word for R. It actually might be you, me plural. Oh, B. No, there is B. They have a word for B. Brothers we are. Okay, so it's just the same thing that was sent previously. Wow. Repairing that relationship, there's uh, two others. I'll find them. I think it was here? Yeah. The devotees and the scientist. You help me. You help me. Plants are dying. Plants, plural, dead. I don't want plants to die. I not want plant plural dead ah and it'll help me help you i will create a formula me create potion oh how nice of them oh one more connection the alchemists want to help the monster <laughs> what plural of scientists want to help the impure maybe oh yeah interesting in the alchemist language the devotees are the monster the alchemists are afraid plural scientist fear alchemists don't want to die plural alchemists not want death oh warriors are not afraid of the impure why i what what Hopefully he doesn't take that as, you know, yes, we will kill the impure at your command. Anyways, warrior, plural, not fear, the monster. Warrior, plural, they'll help, where is it? Help the scientists, plural. Interesting. So all the connections except for the last area. Well, I know what I have to do. To the top of the tower we go. Oh. Hey, look at this. A freaking cable car is connected here. The brothers are reunited. Where does this take me in the bard land? <laughs> I jacked a car. Later. Oh, to here. How oh, cool. Are they X out this sign? Oh, nice. They went back on the restrictions. Warriors can enter now. I'm scared to go in, but I must do it anyway. The fifth floor of the Tower of Babel, home to the fairies. Oh boy. 